push broom A. It's called the push broom because we hold it like this, one hand under the ankle, the other under the knee. And in this grip, I'm going to turn your head to the side. We just bring her leg on up. Now the most common uh, thing that happens that makes it less than satisfying is stopping before you get far enough. If you're tentative or not sure how far to go, you'll stop here, and that's interesting, but for most everyone, whether you're older, younger, flexible or not, it feels better to go even farther than 90 degrees. So once I'm here, I'm going to use my leg to stabilize her knee on the table and then just lean into attachments of gluteus maximus uh, all around the crest. Just breathing and waiting in each place while they release. How's the pressure, Laurie? Good. It's good. And then also on the sacrum. I'm sinking into them, and if there's any movement, it's a slight vector towards myself, where I'm nudging them off the bone towards me and waiting in each spot. I'm going to go through this rather quickly, but in practice, I would take quite a bit of time in each of these spots just to allow them to release. The next one, push broom B. I'm going to swing her leg off the table, so essentially taking her femur into an external rotation. Now I'm using this leg on her foot to take her farther into an external rotation. How are we doing there, Lori? Good. Now, if someone has knee history, a history of knee ligament injuries or strain, you want to be real careful with the knee because there is some uh, twist going through the lower leg into the femur to get that rotation. I'm also pulling the femur into that internal rotation here and just letting her breathe and release into that. The next one, push broom C, we take her into internal rotation. So I've come under her lower leg, bracing on the upper leg, supporting the knee, and taking her femur into an internal rotation. Still with the knee high. Often by this time the leg on some people has worked down to less than a 90 degree angle, but I'm keeping her leg quite high here to keep the stretch. So Lori's just breathing and relaxing, letting go. I'm feeling for that release and following it. And One of the, um, the ideas that, that the class um, offered was to be working in whole sentences. You know, to not just to kind of jump in and do a little something and leave, but you know, I'm starting, like I have a great start and a great finish, and this section that I'm working on is complete. So the client really feels, you know, they, they don't get lost. They're not just like, you're not just working on them, but you're having more of a dialogue and you're listening to the body, to their body, and you're saying something to it, and it's, you know, kind of a complete circle.